An API or application programming interface is a set of rules and protocols that enables two applications to communicate and work together. In simpler terms, it defines methods that allow you to request data or perform actions between two apps. The way an API works is it makes a request to the application, in this case the server, and then get a response back. The response contains either the data or the error. Think of a waiter in the restaurant, for example, where he gets the order from customers, makes a request to the kitchen to prepare the food, and then he gets back the order and delivers it to the customers. This is how an API works. So let's just start by creating a model for our data. And to give you an idea of how our model looks like, I'm going to open up our API inside the browser. So this is our API, and this is the URL that we sent to the server to get the data. And this is how our data looks like. If I zoom, you see our data is inside the list, and every single data is in form of JSON that has a key and also a value. So this is the kind of data that we get, and remember that we have an ID, a title, and also these other properties. So now let's create a model for that. I'm going to go into the library and create a model. I'm going to call my model anime.dart because the data that we get are related to anime. That is a form of Japanese animation. So I'm just going to copy and paste my anime model because it has a lot of fields. As you see, we have ID, title, original title, and a lot of these properties. We then define our constructor that is just taking this data. And lastly, we have a from JSON method. This is the most important method inside this class. And the way it works is that it takes data in form of a JSON. That is exact anime data that, as you can see, is a JSON. And if you don't know, JSON is just another name for map. So it takes the data in form of a JSON. And then it turns each and every one of them into our anime fields. And lastly, we return an anime object. So this is all about creating a model. To be able to fetch data from API, you need to add HTTP package inside your publicspec.yaml file. Next, we need to create the method for getting the data from API. So for that, I'm going to create an API class. Let's just start by doing our imports. Then I'm going to create anime API class. Inside this class, we have a static method that is called fish animes. This method returns a list of animes. First, I'm going to define my base URL. This is the URL we use to fetch data from server. Then I'm going to define my response, and inside that, I'm going to put http.get and as you see above, we have called our http package and using the get method, we're going to get our data from base URL. Also make sure to parse it using uri.parse method. So if response at the status code is equal to 200, it means that we got the data successfully. So we need to store data inside the list of dynamic because as you see, our data is a list. So we need to store it inside a list. and to decode our data, we need the JSON decode that I have imported here from Dart Convert. You need to decode the response to the body because the body is the part of the response that has the data. Then we create a list of animes, and this is what we have to return at the end. But right now, our data is in type of list dynamic. So we need to go and map each and every single part of our data. And then I'm going to call anime.fromJSON method to parse them into animes. And lastly, call to list method to turn them into a list. Now we have a list of animes here. So then we can return our animes. And in case we have an error, I'm going to print my error status code and also to run exception. So this was basically everything we need to do to get our data. Next, we need to define our user interface. So let's define our home screen. I'm going to first define an stateful class called home screen. Inside the build method, return a future builder. And inside the future, use fetch animes method to get your all animes from the server. Inside the builder, we have a context and a snapshot. So if our connection state is equal to waiting, I'm going to return a circular progress indicator. And in case our snapshot the data is not null, it means that we have data. And otherwise, I'm going to return an error. If it is not loading and if we do not have data, it means that we, are, we have an error. So I'm going to return a snapshot that error. Inside the snapshot the data, first I'm going to get list of animes that is equal to snapshot the data. Then I'm going to return in scaffold. Inside the scaffold we have an app bar, and inside the body we have a padding with a horizontal padding of 12. Inside the child, let's return a list view.builder because we have to display a list of animes. Inside the item can we we put the length 
Inside the item builder, I'm gonna first get my anime using animes.elemental.index and then I'm gonna return a gesture detector. This is to be able to click on the animes and open up the detail page. First, I define the on top property and then I'm gonna define my child that is an anime tile. So this is basically an anime tile. To access this data, you can check the description. I have put a link to the GitHub repository. I'm not gonna explain everything because this is just a simple widget. So inside the gesture detector, I have basically returned an anime tile. And in case you tap on the anime tile, it is gonna open anime details screen. You can also get the code for anime details screen from the GitHub. So let's save the app and also run it to see how it looks like. So the app is up and running right now. And as you see, a list of animes is displayed. And if you want, you can click on any of these items. And this is gonna open up a detail page. And here when we define our navigator, we also pass our entire anime. And inside the anime detail screen, we pass those data to define a beautiful anime detail screen. So this is basically our app in which we learn how to get data from API and also how to use our data. If you have any question about this app, you can ask in the comment section. See you in the next one.